Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very early morning with the Team Corelli Spark XP6. If you can tell, I finally got shorts on. Now I'm white as a ghost, but that doesn't matter. It's a nice day. It's early, but it's about 12, 13 degrees Celsius already. So we're finally going to get to have some fun with the Spark. I've added some wheel wideners and I've also got the Proline MX buggy tires on here. So we still got basically a buggy. We're not running 2.8s or anything like that. It's still a buggy. It's just a little bit wider. We've got a little carbon fiber piece there from Corelli on the wing, but everything else guys on this buggy is still stock, still running those medium springs, which I probably should switch over to the stiffer ones, especially for what we're gonna start doing today. But either way guys, let's give this thing a run. Guys, I've been wanting to get out with this thing ever since I got it. We've ran it in the middle of winter, which wasn't a whole lot of fun. <laughs> and finally today we can send it a little bit. And then hopefully, now we've got a lot of sun because it's early, so the sun's still low. But hopefully we'll get over there today with the Promoto MX as well, guys, because I've got that in the truck. But we're going to start off with a couple small jumps, work our way up a little bit. I've seen this thing take a lot of abuse. Grass should be a little bit drier now. Gotta replace my grip tape one of these days on the ramp. that thing managed to land. I was a little worried there. Got really squirrely on me. Just enough control to kind of pull out. I mean, at the end of the day, this is a buggy and it's still running buggy tires. Yes, just enough. Oh, this thing rips though. Oh, that last blip of throttle. But man, what does this thing go? I still have the uh, titanium Ackerman plate for this thing. Uh, I think that's it. It's the only thing I haven't installed on this buggy yet. Oh. Oh, that was close. Ramp shaver. What a beast. All right guys, I moved up the GoPro just a little bit there. Hopefully this buggy is staying in frame. <laughs> yeah, it's got enough. Not a lot guys, again, we're running a buggy. And buggy tires, that makes all the difference. I don't have that weight on the tires to bring this thing around or anything. <laughs> yes. What a beautiful jumping buggy. Oh, 
Ooh, how this thing manages to land, guys. I, I don't know if that's coming across how, just, I don't know if it's when I'm leaving the ramp. I know the ramp's sitting on a bit of an angle right now, just with the way the ground is. But, oh man, it's like my heart stops and then somehow it manages to land. Except for that time. But we do have the Asuga bumpers on it. So that may have helped that right there. This is always a bad idea. Oh, jeez. Yeah, guys, just enough throttle. Like, even when most of the time I'm in the air, at least that time anyways, I wasn't on any throttle. I was just letting the buggy do its thing. Then, I don't know, maybe on my way down, I just kind of bring the throttle up a little bit. Tap of the brake. That was it. That was all. Hopefully you guys heard that. I just got to remember now when I get behind the Promoto MX today not to do this again. What a beast. I never had a Radix 6. That was the, what is the word, predecessor before, that came before this buggy. But. Nice. Now I'm just gonna bring in guys because I've got the M2C wideners on here right now. And I just kind of wanna, I didn't bring a wheel wrench with me. I just wanna make sure these things aren't backing off at all. I mean, I'm just checking them by hand, but just wanted to make sure. Hehe. <laughs> Guys, that's nothing. No brake, no throttle. Just sending it, launching it, having a good time. Ah, oh, come on. This guy is, I mean, I hate to say this, but it's definitely, guys, a lot faster than the Arma. Out of the box, stock anyways. No throttle, no brake. Launched, and guys, all I did was just watch it go. We gotta do that again. Whoa. How, man, that thing comes down so nice. That wasn't as smooth as the last one. Got a little bit of cloud cover now. Very little cloud cover. All right. Whew. Every time I do those weird landings where I land on a quarter, like front quarter or whatever, those are always my worry 
landings. Oh, that was the wing. <laughs> oh, bummer, guys. Uh, Corelli, you know I love you. But man, yeah, we gotta do something about the wings. Be interesting now to see how it flies. I always just think of wings, I don't know, as decoration. The MX-20, or no, not MX-28s, the MX. So again, guys, these are the buggy tires. Doing a really nice job today. Where am I going? Just takes that little bit of throttle after you've landed to kind of pull the buggy so it doesn't do a big bounce. <laughs> all right guys i was just actually taking a couple pictures there so so far because this is guys my first real run with this buggy i am super impressed it's a rocket ship for starters and it's unbelievable in the air great control for a buggy and i say that because we're running buggy tires you can't let you know and guys i've done it with my typhon and i'll probably do it with this thing too at some point but you can't let the conversions fool you when you're running you know crate and hubs and stuff like that and you're running bigger tires because those that weight increases the handling in the air but this thing has been an absolute blast to drive just on buggy tires like an absolute blast This thing is, guys, awesome. Might as well finish off the wing. Now, I do know, guys, I'm only running a 4,000 milliamp pack in here right now, so I know I'm going to be running out of juice soon and i don't want that to happen happen when we're in the air so i think this is gonna be my last big jump and then we'll just rip it around the ground for a bit now this is usually when everything goes bad but let's see <laughs> oh frig this thing oh that's addicting guys this buggy is awesome it is unbelievable and the fact that we're not out here in minus five freezing and putting those plastics through what they go through is awesome guys like i have been looking so forward to this crazy on me there. Just 
checking the GoPro again, guys, because I had moved it when I was jumping down there. But, man, guys, what a blast. And again, guys, this is running those, I think they're like a medium compound spring. So the buggy handles really well with them. You can see, but yet it did well jumping. I mean, it pretty just kind of comes down and chassis slaps, which is not the end of the world. I've got the Asuga bumper, so they've got those skid plates on it as well. I don't know, I kind of like this setup. As I eat a bunch of dirt, RC8X running probably around 30% gyro is definitely, guys, an added bonus. What a little animal. This is a bad idea, I'm gonna eat dirt again. <laughs> Yep, that's what I did. But it just handles so well. Whew. And I mean, guys, that's only like half throttle, by the way. Hopefully the sun's not wrecking this. You know, this is the difference between Corelli and so many other companies. Because Corelli, they know how to dial their buggies. They know how to dial their cars, guys, so friggin' well. So well. It's like, you know, borderline race car, but then at the same time, Borderline Basher. They found such a great middle ground. This guy's has really surprised me today. I was not expecting to uh, enjoy this buggy so much, only because guys, ever since I got my Asuga, the Asuga is not just my favorite buggy, it's one of my favorite RCs, like up there in the top two. But this thing is a riot. For being a stock buggy, stock electronics, stock everything, stock pinion, stock diffs. Oh, that friggin' little garage thing. We're gonna get one more of these in before this video ends. Come on. Oh, guys, that's awesome. And guys, I'm not like a race car driver or anything, but this buggy is just wicked handling. And I was making, by the way, I'm making fun of myself there. Like I'm not a good driver. <laughs> All right, guys, one last jump. Oh, of course. And I do gotta say guys, great run time for a 4,000 milliamp pack. break there. Hi guys, I'm going to be curious to see what time I got out of this, like how much run time, because... Um, 
But yeah, guys, what a great pair between the Team Corelli Spark XB6. Oh, <laughs> There it is, guys. All right, guys, we're home. We got the buggy back on the bench. It's not all cleaned up. What I was trying to get out at the end of that video was just how much the buggy and the RC8X complemented each other. I think having that little bit of gyro, I don't know what we got here. Oh, we got about 30% gyro there. You can see right in the top hand corner, boop, boop, 30%. Just really made this buggy handle that much better. You can see at the end when I'm ripping it around, when I start to kind of come out of the corner, it doesn't take much to get the thing straight again. I absolutely love that system. I've never been a fan of any kind of stability control until I started running the Radio Link system and I really started to play with it because it does make everything faster. It doesn't mess with your throttle or brake or anything like that. It's just for the steering. Back though to the absolute animal that is the Team Corelli Spark XB6. Hands down, the best out-of-the-box 1.8 scale basher buggy you can buy. It's tough, it's fast, it's quick, it handles well, it behaves in the air, and it's honestly, guys, an absolute pleasure to drive. I don't have huge plans to upgrade this thing. I think right now I'm just going to enjoy it the way it is. I'll fix the wing. I'm actually, and I'm going to try the Synchro wing because I know some people have been running that buggy and they're having really, really good luck with that wing. So I might change that up, guys. I do have, I just realized now, a spare one on the wall for this buggy, uh, the Kagama, all the other eight scales. It's the same wing. So I might be able to put one of those on. But either way, though, guys, I uh, just blown away today. This was so much fun. For this to be kind of my maiden run this year and my first real run with the Spark, it could not have gone any better. This thing was just an absolute animal. And I'm definitely going to get even braver with this buggy. It gives me a lot of confidence after today, seeing what it took, that I definitely want to keep sending this thing. And I'm going to keep, guys, running these tires. I like that this is still looking like a buggy. It's not looking like some, you know converted funky thing or anything like that there's no fancy hubs or anything on it there's no conversion it's literally guys we've got a little bit of wheel wideners and a set of the proline mx tires and it is absolutely awesome but huge thanks to corelli for keeping me in the corelli crew because they're guys with hands down they do not get any better out of the box than the team corellis their electronics their the way they're dialed in the way they've got everything set up is better than any other company out there and i was just very very impressed with this thing today guys but as always guys if you enjoyed this video give me a big thumbs up please subscribe and have a great day